everyone this video is a make by request because uh, a lot of people ask me how to make face masks for kids and um, I'm going to show you two things today so I'm going to show you one it's the same style to make for kids and make for uh, um, grow up too so what you need to do this is very super easy that I have to come up with something that um, some some people ask me to show them very the easiest one to do so here i have the um, the fabric i already cut here for you so to save time so i have the long side here is 14 inches and the white side is six and a half all that measurement everything i tell you it lasted will be on the screen of the um, when you watch in the video it will be on the screen so what you do is you get the iron and you fold it the two end half an inch you fold it in and then you iron it this is super easy all mom out there can do for the kid and um, the fabric store are open so go in there and get the fabric that you think your kid will like this fabric, I get it from yesterday, um, from the fabric store. It is only $3.99 a yard. So when you're done, what you need to do is you go on to use inside out. You're going to turn the fabric inside out. And I'm going to show you very easy, super easy way to do so when you fold a fabric like this, you can get the iron and then you can iron this right here. And you're going to fold it again. And you iron. This is for the beginner. Everybody just new to this and uh, we are new to this, but we share idea up here. So now when after you iron it, this is super easy. Every, every mom out there can follow this video and, um, and do it. So you see the line right here and this is double. Remember we fold it in half. So now what you do is you get the piece of paper. You go in to cut the paper. You can just cut the strip of paper. This is one inch wide and five inch long. So one inch this side and five inch this side. Okay. So after you cut, you go on to fold the paper in half. Just to fold it. So to show you the easiest way. You know, some, some people are new for sewing and all my video is no sewing machine, everybody. Okay. So now when you, when you watch my video, please read the title of the video. Okay. So when you fold it in half like this, you go into place in the middle line where you just iron. Okay. So you place this line in the middle of this line right where you just iron the fabric now you have it right in the middle right you're gonna hold like this hold with your thumb and you're going to mold this together two together to the middle line where you fold the paper line right there and then you press you hold it and then you put it down like this after you move you put it right in the middle where the paper that you fold in half and you get the um, the binder clip you clip it you hold it you know the whole entire time i call this the paper clip i don't really like that okay so now you're done with one now you go on to do this one to do in this one, you go on to do the same thing. You make sure the paper stay right there. Now it stay very good because you fold your block the other half in here. 
So now the other half, you're gonna wring this paper in there, and then you do exact the same thing. So I'm going to turn the paper, the, the fabric, so you can see my hand. So now in this half with a full part, you go on to bring this in. You see my thumb and my my index finger right here. I make sure that I get the fabric lie up right there, and then I'm going to go right in the middle. You see in my hand right here. I try to press this right in the middle and then coming out. How easy that is. Okay, now you have it. You go on to get the clip and you go on to clip it together. Same thing to the other side. This is super easy. Everyone can do it. So I have to come up with this idea um how to fold for you i have the video in the past that show you how to fold without a paper but i think that for those people who are asking me the super easy way this is it so now you have it all you do is you need to sew it in the line you want to make sure you get the iron and then you go on to run right in the middle of the of the light that you just did. Not to mess up, you have the light here. You want to make sure you can press the finger, everything like that. You are done. You take the clip off. You go on to open it. And then you fold back the light that you just did. This is the one that you just fold in one side. And this is the middle. Now we're going to fold it back. It's already back there for you, just like this. Now you can see the two parts. One is here and one over there. When you open the right side. Why you open the right side? Because you're going to add the elastic to it. I almost get burned by the iron. Okay, so now you get the elastic for kit. Six inches. Elastic, you need two. So you need two of six inches elastic. You need two. You go on to place like this. Okay, so this is the middle line where you divide into two earlier. You go on to clip one right there. You go on to hold this thing. Gonna fold it back. Just like this. Okay. You go on to place, now when you fold it, you go on to place one end of the elastic at the end right where you divide into half to two. You get the clip and you clip it right there. There. And at the other end, you go on to clip another one right here. Right, right. From the beginning. Just right here. And that's it. You go on to clip again get an extra clip i clip where you fold some fabric are, are very soft and it will light out right away my fabric is like extra 200 and something cotton dread cow so now the other end you're going to do the same thing so now i'm going to sew it so when you sew you're going to make sure you get this elastic right here is coming to the end because if you don't move the elastic to the end, when you when you're done, it look funny. It look like you know. Now if it's not, you get the needle and then you pull it up and then you move it to the side. Make sure you get your thumb and your uh, your fingernail and you know like this. You scratch it over. Now I like you to sew half an inch in each end. So. The first one I like you to do is you, you get your finger and then you push the elastic to the end here. So half an inch is right here. I'm go to get my needle, go through the elastic and I pull. Go under, go through the elastic and pull. Super easy, everyone. Okay, now you think you've done enough with, with the uh, sewing over the elastic. Now you can start sewing the line.
So now when you get into the middle where you get the put the clip there, you're gonna take it off so you can sew the line all the way. You're going to repeat the same sewing this line to the other line, to the other side. Right here, just like this, okay? Just like you can see it right there. Now you're going to sew, continue sewing all the way. When you get into the elastic, that's where I like you to sew more. To make you to do, I'm going to go one time down here, okay? And then when I get down to here, I'm going to go up, but I'm going to go through the elastic right there. You see? Go down again, go up and down, up and down where it lasted a few times. You're gonna do that for a few times because you want the elastic to stay into the, the, the face mask. You don't wanna wear it in the middle. And that when you get into the, let me turn this around. When you get into the top, you go on to turn this. And then you go on under. You're going to go through the elastic just like this, and then you're going to pull. You see what I'm doing? Pull. Now, this is the last one. I'm going to do exact the same one. You're going to poke through the elastic, go up. Put your finger there and when you see that loop I'm going to get my needle go through the loop right here so I can block okay I'm going to do one more time and that done for one super easy you can see the two thing different here you do exactly what I'm doing and you have your own and now you're going to inside out a mask this mask is for five years old and to, I would say, to eight, under five, under three years old. You can try it on your three, depend on the kit. I tell you, and I tell everyone, it's, every kit are different. So now you have a mask. You have a mask for your own kit. They're going to wear it like this. You can face this in and you can face this out. How pretty that is. So cute and adorable. You open it, you can see the little thing in there. Or if you have a plain fabric, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Whatever you want, you decide to do. I have the piece of fabric right here for a grow up parent. Um, so what you do uh, is you need to cut the long piece of paper. Don't cut it in half because if you cut it in half, you have to sew this long line. For me, there's no need to cut this one because, you know, it's extra work for you right here that you, if you cut, you're going to sew it back in. What the point? Uh, so you need the uh, fabric is uh, 18 inches long and 9 inches wide. So you're going to fold it in half. You're going to take one inch from each end. Okay, and then you iron it just like the last time I show you for the the kit one. After you iron it, the reason why I cut the Y side is nine inch because you want to take half an inch on each side when you sew it, so you make the side is eight. That's the standard size for the 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 uh, grow up face mask. Now when you're done, the same process with the first one. You go on to hold the fold line up into the top where you have the, the filter pocket up there. So you go on to iron it. The iron is just easier for you to have the line. And then when you're done, you're going to open it. Now you can see the line right there. 
we just fixed the tripod, everyone. Okay, now you see the lines right there? The line. You get the piece of paper, the same thing. You go on to get the piece of paper. It's six in the long way, six and a half. And the Y, it's one and a half. So now you're going to do the same process. If you missed the, the measurement or everything like that, go back to the video and watch again. Okay, because sometimes when you ask me, like, when you do that and what you need to do, I would say, I don't remember. I mean, I done so many. Now, you see this line when you iron with the fabric and this line when you just fold a piece of paper. Remember right there, six and a half inch long, one and a half inch wide, the paper. So now you go on to leave it. I'm going to move the iron away so I don't burn myself. So now you go on to place it there right in the middle where the lie when you just iron it. So line up nicely. And the two sides here is one inch away. So you know that it's right evenly. So the spade right here and the spade right here. Okay, you go on to place it down. You go on to bring this here. Just like the last one. And then my index finger out here pushing the fabric uh, in. And then my thumb is just holding it. Okay, it's right here. Stop right here with the middle line. You go on to gently press this down. Now you have one side full. Get the clip. Clip it. The other side. Clip. This side, I'm going to turn around so you can see. Okay, so now, this is the other side that you need to do. All you need to do is just, you hold this, this is the full side. You go on to hold this, remember your index finger is pushing the fabric and your thumb is trying to move the fabric in. So now the other half is belong to this. So now you go on to work this in. You're going to see my, you see under here, that's my index finger trying to push the fabric and then, you see? See, I'm pushing right here. And I know it stopped right there. Because my thumb, my thumb right here, it just tell you is the middle line right there. So then I press this down. And then it's done. Just easy peasy. Just like this. And then you get the um, clip. You're going to clip it down. The clip is going to help you a lot. There, you clip it there. And now you're done. You see? Same process you're going to do. You're going to iron it. Well, I tell you to fold it in here. And then the next line right there. Fold it in. See? You just follow the line. Now it's full. Roll over. So this side right here is already full. You can just follow this. Follow the whole thing. See? Now you can see. There's the line that you fold. There's the other one. And the middle one that divides the two. The middle one and this one. Now you're going to hold the other side of the fabric where the divide into two right here, then you fold it. Then you're done. You have the elastic right here. You're going to move to this line where they meet right there. Fold it. And it's right there. And to the other side, you make sure you push into the end. You got it. You clip it. This is a grow up, the adult side. And I show you exactly how you fold, you know, the line and everything. So I... So this two line, the same thing that you did with the baby, the, with the kid side. So now after you sew, you get an extra here because we're taking in half an inch for each side. You can go ahead, get in scissor, and then you can cut. Don't cut too close to it. Cut about a quarter of an inch. And 
at the corner you're going to make like a triangle get cut like like this like a triangle be careful when you cut don't cut so close to um the line that you sew you're going to do the same thing to this line just nip a little bit right there and so when you're done so pretty nice and neat this pack is open big it's okay you know why because when you wear it it's gonna go it's gonna stay very close to your face and you're done you're gonna inside out you're gonna hold those two things and you pull so pretty easy you can use that at the wallet actually you put a zipper up here and you can make a wallet yourself same technique everyone give you some other idea right there so now when you're done you can get the um the iron you can run one over here and then one run over here and that's it for making this with me so when you wear it it's gonna be like this nice facing out so pretty something that you make and it's so pretty Remember, it's exact the same thing. Everything that I do here, I will put on the screen. Make sure you um you look at my description too. So under the video, there description. Also, in my comment, the comment of the video, I um I add another um another link from the new channel. Of she's also do a lot of the um face mask for kid and super cute you may have to go and check her out so we'll be when you um when you watch my video you scroll down where the people write comment under there i will put the, um, the her channel um right there so you can click on it and go visit her and if you like it please don't forget to subscribe to her channel also thank you so much this video i'm going to upload right away because I'm going to do this as the request someone really need the help and I'm going I did this as soon as possible just woke up early this morning try to do this so um can show you both of them so so cute super cute this is for kid when they wear <laughs> little face picking out right there so adorable all right, thank you very much for watching this video. Gonna go up right now. So this is it, everyone. This is the finished look, and the filter pocket is right up to here, and everything you see is so nuts in, and then this side too, perfect. And down to the neck here, beautiful. Thank you for watching, everyone.